Hi, I'm Mike Nelson, and this is how to use WordPress and Print My Blog to create a newspaper, uh, both online and in print. So first, I start off with a WordPress website. Um, you can get one lots of different places. And I've already installed and activated Print My Blog plugin. So you just create posts as usual to uh, make your news for your online website. News about axolotls. That's how you spell it. Um, and you just, I'm going to grab some text from Wikipedia here. Do, 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 do. And just copy it a few times there. Um, uh, uh, some copy and pasting issues, so let's I can get rid of some of these. Uh, and I'll use. No, maybe I'll make this. That looks like left aligning it would work best there, eh? And I've got some bigger images I found somewhere else. Um, I'll make this one bigger. And is this a good one here? Mm. Yeah, it'd be nice if it has a high resolution though. And there is my great post. I'm going to publish it using WordPress. Uh, so this is just normal using WordPress. And I'm going to view post. Full screen view, sorry. So here is our post with the axolotls. There's a nice big image. Uh, oh, better high resolution, but there it was. And, uh, and if you have any modifications you want to make, you can just edit them here afterwards. <clears throat> anyway, so there's a the post. Go back to my WordPress area. My uh, posts. <clears throat> so I can keep creating new posts like that, and those will be made available on the website uh, as they're available. Uh, I think it's a good idea to use some sort of email subscription uh, plugin as well, something so that uh, whenever you create a new post, um, people can subscribe to your website and they can get an email immediately when the, those new posts appear. So Jetpack will do that, but I think something like uh, MailChimp um, plugin would probably be a better choice. There are lots of this oodles of different uh, newsletter or mail plugins. Yeah, so you can see I've got a few other posts here already. Uh, and now let's say at the end of the month you want to create a, uh, a, a print newspaper which you can actually mail to people if you want or you can hand it out. Um, this is where print my blog comes in. So I'm going to print my blog. And I'm going to add a new project. And let's say this is the September issue of. No, I'll just say September. And I'm going to create a print ready PDF. I could do these other formats as well. Uh, digital PDF is probably best for uh, reading on PDF for reading on screens. A print ready PDF is intended for printing. And ebooks are great for reading on e readers. And Word documents are just kind of useful in other cases. Anyways, and here's where things get a little important. So I'm going to select the Haller tabloid. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to skip customizing it. There's lots of options on it. I'm just going to use the defaults or whatever I said last time. So I click use this design. And now I got to choose what's going to be in this uh, issue. I'm going to say add the new post that I just added. Um, and I'll add some older stuff too, uh, just so you have some more content for you to look at. And let's see, big news. Actually, I'll put the big news ones first. Um, and let's add some more stuff, just like random old posts. Anyway, so you add all the stuff you want. You add them to the, the body mostly. The front matter is all stuff that will kind of 
introductory materials. Um, I'm going to save and proceed there. <clears throat> so I'm calling this uh, the September issue. I'll say the date is September. Which mm, notes? Ah, it's not even September. It's October. Well, okay. That's great. Now it's is issue two. And the front page title left call out. So these, this is somewhere just left of the, uh, the title uh, of the newspaper, sort of like area for having sort of highlights of neat things that you want to mention. So we'll say lots about axolotls. Make that big. And here in the right call out, here I'll put and stuff about sports. There we've attracted a good variety of readers. We'll save again. And actually, you know what? I will go and modify some of the uh, the design settings. I've changed my mind. I could click Generate right now to create it. Uh, I'm going to customize the settings. And I'm, instead of calling this to publication print my blog, I'm going to call this, well, no, print my blog. Oops. Sample news. And I'm going to leave it. Have the images take up the full width of each column. We have three columns. I'm just going to include the post title, featured image, and content. And for hyperlinks, uh, I'm going to leave those as is. Um, so none of this is really essential to change. Probably the one thing you may mostly want to change is the uh, the newspaper name. These first three. The rest of these are all. Uh, fine to play with if you want, but they're not essential. Save, and now I will generate the print page. So this lays out all the content in the web browser, and it looks okay. So now let's see what the PDF looks like. So first we're going to download a test PDF, so this will have a little watermark at the top and bottom of each page. Um, but it's otherwise exactly what you'd get uh, as a paying user. Let's zoom out and smooch. Um, so, like a real newspaper, it starts on the right hand page. And I have it. Uh, so, so, this would be sort of the way you'd unfold the ins inside of the newspaper. And this would be on the left hand page, and this would be the right hand, and this is on the left hand again. So, uh, it looks okay. The um, the title is pretty long, and so I've got quite a bit of space in each one of these call out areas. And the front page, uh, we could probably select a different uh, layout to have a big image on the front, so I have to make this image bigger. And um, you remember. Uh, I guess let's see here. So the uh, this page here has got this is a full width image so that's pretty big, and wide images are wider, and regular one is the size. Um, that looks okay. And I'm wondering where did my news about exit bottles go? Sometimes the content gets hidden underneath this uh, watermark. So there's one about badminton and tennis. Uh, the quirky thing about these images, oh, there's the news about exo bottles. Yeah, the, uh, the images are kind of float around in order to be laid out a little bit better. So the axolotl images have actually, some of them have gotten bumped all the way to the back here. 
because uh, it wasn't quite spaced well on this page here. So I'm going to tweak the layout just a little bit and see if we can get things a little bit better. I'll probably do this a couple times. Now I'm going to do edit content. So for the first item, big news, I'm going to change the template to be the important template. So this will have a big image and then columns. And news about axolotls. Um, we'll leave that as is. We'll see if that actually we'll make that make that one important too. And I'll put the, these ones about tennis and badminton before the axolotls. See that'll create a more pleasing layout. So we'll generate again, and we'll again download test PDF. So yeah, this looks better with the uh, with a, a big sort of pretty opening image there. For the next page, this is a nice layout. The big drawing from when I was five and some red picture. Um, and here's the tennis and badminton. So there's a bit of space. The tennis article could uh, be either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller because the badminton title and image didn't quite fit in this space here. So I'll show you a trick to uh, remove some content just for the printed newspaper in case you don't have quite enough space for it. And news about axolotls, uh, it's really quite image heavy, isn't it? So this image is supposed, to, is supposed to be wide, so it needs to take up the full width of the page, but there's not really enough space to place it anywhere here unless we make it smaller. So maybe we'll do that. So I'm going to remove one paragraph of, from the tennis article, just in the print issue, and I'm going to make these images it's a little bit smaller. Uh, you see, they won't really, this won't really affect the uh, the online version, but it will. We're, we are going to affect the uh, newspaper. So let's do that. Tennis. Go back to edit content. This is a kind of easy way to get to the stuff that's in your uh, your project. You click edit tennis in this case, and I'm going to use the print my blog shortcuts. Go to PNB. Uh, screen only, if I recall correctly. PNB screen only. Yeah, let's double check this. It's always handy to know where to find where those are. Let's go to printmy.blog and user guide and design and layout reference and shortcuts. Uh, all right, PNB web only blocks. That's the one. And there you go. So that means that this text here will only appear on the website. It will not appear in the project. Uh, let's double check that that worked properly. Generate and download PDF again. Open. This all looks the same as before. Ah, now this layout looks better. The tennis. It's made a little bit enough space for the badminton image and title to appear. Uh, we could make the badminton article a bit, little bit longer in this case, or make the uh, tennis article longer, just to kind of use up this white space here. Um, I don't think I'll do that right now. Um, well, yeah, I don't think I'll do it right now. That's a similar process to what we just did. 
Uh, I will, however, change these images on the axolotl edit page. So let's go back to that. Back to edit content again. News with axolotls. Let's edit that one. So this image is currently set to full width. So that makes means that on the website, it'll take up the full width of the page. But also in this design, it means that it will take up the full width of the uh, the page. It'll take up all the columns available. But that was a bit too much. I'm going to just set it to wide width instead, which will, on the newspaper article, will just make it take up two columns. And this one, oh, there already was a wide width. I'm going to set it to wide width as well. Let's see how that looks. So, well, first I'll show you just the, uh, the article online. Still looks fine. Uh, I guess I don't need to just go back to the edit content page and we're going to go back to generate and download test PDF again. So all I've done since the last time I created was just made that one picture, which was the full width down to uh, just wide width, which means it should take up two columns and look a little bit nicer. There we go. That looks great, I think. Um, yeah, and as you can see, all the hyperlinks uh, from the article have been converted into uh, footnotes. Um, of course, because the Wikipedia article that I copied from already had uh, footnotes, this kind of looks weird. So you don't have uh, footnotes in the content already. You just want regular hyperlinks. So it's another danger of copy and pasting. But there we have our uh, issue of Print My Blog News with a pretty good layout. Just need some more text or another image here or here. Uh, you can add a bit more here, I suppose. And, but there you go. And you're ready to print that off and send that off to your readers. I hope this helps and please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks, bye.